Many Americans trace their roots back to the continent of Africa. And of course, the roots of much of our music lie there as well. But to say there's a genre of music called African lumps together all sorts of apples and oranges, from the indigenous singers of the Moroccan highlands to the Arab-inflected orchestras of East Africa, the polyrhythms of Congo, and of course, Fela Kuti's funky Afrobeat from Nigeria. African music is a vast universe, encompassing countless styles and traditions. But tonight on B-Side, we'll explore just one branch of that tree by taking a sonic journey to the small West African nation of Benin. Our guides are Jomion and the Euclos, a family of musicians from Benin who now call New York City home. They perform all around the area and have garnered praise for their impeccable vocal harmonies and their fusions of African religious traditions with jazz, gospel, reggae, and beyond. I'm Banning Air, senior producer for Afropop Worldwide, and I'm thrilled to welcome them and you to our studio for an hour of music and conversation. Stay tuned.
Thank you, Mathieu on percussion, Rose on vocals, Jomia on drums, and JB on keyboards and vocals. JB, uh, let's start with the name of the group. What is the meaning of Euclos? Um, uh, Euclos actually is Mauklu. Mauklu. It is a oh. full sentence, you know, from Africa. All our names are, you know, full sentence because, you know, it, it relates uh, to a story. Uh -huh. So Mauklu means God is great. Now, Jomio and the Euclos, Jomio means grace. So, Jomio and the Euclos is God's grace is great. <coughs> so, yeah, okay, okay. It is a full story. Yeah, I'm beautiful. Sorry. beautiful. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> um, yeah, there's more to unpack there. We'll, 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 we got time, but let's start actually with your guys' beginnings. What was, tell us a little bit about your family, right? So, you guys mm -hmm. grew up together. What was musical life like when you were young? How did you guys get started in music? Uh, actually, um, our late father <laughs> was a singer, a composer, a percussionist. Mm. Our mother was a composer, singer. So I think we got that genes from our parents. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we started through the, the church. Our father was the pastor of the church mm -hmm. and the choir master. Then uh, uh, from the dad to the firstborn, Samuel, that's Jomio. So we've been together in the same choir at the church. He's been training us. We've been playing together. So since we were, I don't know, I just opened my eyes and I realized that I'm <laughs> surrounded by, you know. <laughs> There was no choice. So that's, eh? that's how we started, <laughs> you know. And um, at that time, your the uh, dad bought him a trumpet. Uh huh. So actually, trumpet is his main instrument. Yeah, I remember you know? him playing trumpet. Yeah. 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 So when he started that trumpet, um, we all learned trumpet. Mm. All my brothers, even my sister. And then it was keyboard, the next instrument. We all learn it. Then. Let us not even talk about percussion because we started with <laughs> percussion. You know, back home you have the those um, uh, boxes of uh, you know those uh, cans. You will make a percussion out of it and you will play. You know, so percussion, trumpet, keyboard, and what else? It's all there. So Singing. that's how. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we started and. You know, and you hear that, I hear that, uh, that, that church influence, and just in the song you just played, there's this kind of soul, gospel, roots reggae, it's all yeah. kind of rolling together very nicely, it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, and uh, 
I, as I recall, there's an interesting, you said Jomion Samuel was the firstborn, mm -hmm. and there's an interesting story about, about his birth, isn't it? Um, it, was, it? It was a long time in coming. Can you tell us that story briefly? Um, you're talking about? About, about how Samuel was, uh, his, your, your parents, your dad, he was waiting a long time to have his first yes, son, isn't that actually, right? Yes, actually, our dad got him at age of 50. Ah. So you can imagine, you can know, you know. And uh, <laughs> yes, um, it was a long, you know, a long waiting, you know, for that child to come. And he said, okay, since I'm a pastor, okay, God, if you give me one, I'm going to give it back to you. He will play in the church. So that's how it happened. And when he was born, uh, our dad was like, okay, he started, you know, drumming. You know, I don't know what was his age. You weren't but, there. <laughs> yes, I wasn't there. So he started drumming. And what happened was he was learning trumpet with a, a brass band. And he was using the trumpet of the brass band. So at a given time, when he started playing with another band, I mean, some other band, they took that trumpet from him. So he came home. And he said, Dad, um, the trumpet that I used to blow in the church, I don't have it because it doesn't belong to me. And our dad said, well, but where is it? He said, they took it away. So our dad said, okay, don't worry. I'm going to buy a, tr a trumpet for you. You'll be able to play it wherever you, you want, but first play it at church. You know, <laughs> so that's how. So he made good on his promise. <laughs> yes. Big time. Great. So well, instead of just having one, he got seven. <laughs> <laughs> seven. Yes. Oh, seven. wow. <laughs> well, it's great to have at least four of you guys here today. Thank Let's you. hear another song. We'll talk more. Okay. Uh, now we're going to play Mayon. That is not good. Not good. Yes. <laughs> but actually, um, <laughs> he's talking about, you know, friends that are not good. You know, you gotta be careful choosing your friend, you know.
rhythm man thank you <laughs> you know in, in western music language we would call that a six eight rhythm but that's kind of like saying clouds are white or the sea is blue it doesn't begin to get at the real complexity there so talk about the rhythm of, of that song and where, where does it come from what okay does it mean? um this rhythm is called uh uh remind me the name <laughs> Well, um, actually, uh, even if you don't have a name for it, just oh talk about goodness. the world it comes from, you know? Talk okay, about I'll tell you something. Yes. Yeah. There is a yesi. Yeah. Thank you. Ayesi. Ah, good. A <laughs> Okay. And, uh, you know, it, most of the time it's danced by women. Uh -huh. And I can tell you, when they're dancing and you look at their shoulders, uh -huh. it is like you, uh, uh, they are kind of electrocuted. Really? <laughs> I can tell you. It is like... <laughs> so, uh, really fast. You, sh you should... Even me, I, I I can really I can really do it, you know. It is like, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, do, uh, do, show them. Rose, you can show us. Yeah, of course. See what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So. It's called Ayesi. Okay. Yeah. So, 
I mean, we talked about the church and vocal harmonies mm -hmm. and, and that kind of stuff and, you know, learning trumpet and that, but, but these rhythms, this is just coming from much older, this is coming out of African religion, isn't it? It's coming from Benin. Yeah. Yeah. So, so and it, but it has to do with religion, doesn't it? Yes, actually, the thing is, um, whatever religion it is and wherever it is, back in the days, yeah. our people didn't know how to play trumpet. Yeah. So they were okay. So they were using the their music, their cultural music, yeah. to praise God, because they were doing that before that kind of God, you know, came to them. Yeah, yeah. So um, they were using the, I mean, what they had as cultural music to praise God. Until mm -hmm. today, I can tell you, do all those rhythm are uh, from you know Bodun convent. Yeah. And uh, they are still being, you know, used to praise God. Yeah. So that was it. I mean, this is a very interesting thing about you, about you guys, and I think we should talk about this for a minute because a lot of uh, Americans people don't really understand. I mean, of course, Vodun, you know, has been very much confused by yeah, uh, our, our good folks in Hollywood and a lot mm -hmm. of others uh, <laughs> creating a lot of a lot of misimpressions <laughs> about it. But, but maybe you could just talk a little bit about that and how. Because for you, there's no contradiction between Vodun and, and Christianity, right? No, so there's, talk no, about there's that. no contradiction. Actually, the thing is, uh, I don't want to tell you the history that you know already, but I will borrow some of the history to let you know what I'm, to let you understand what I mean. Okay. The thing is, when they came to give us the Christianity, mm -hmm. They beat our people, they beat them, and they were like, no, you have to give up that one to take this one. Mm. Yes. But actually, we were not, I mean, the people at that time were not able to play guitar or play keyboard to praise God. And actually, what they were doing, all those rhythms, all those traditional rhythms they were using, that was what they had. And God is universal. Vodun is God. God is Vodun. It is like today, the Chinese, you know, whatever, the Chinese religion. Does somebody say that, you know, uh, that religion is bad? I don't know. I don't want to go there. I mean, yeah. I don't want to go Good to, idea. yeah. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, I, I'm just taking that yeah, example sure. because today they are kind of, you know, free to do their to, I mean, to worship their own way. And we can all, you know, have the same way of worshiping God because we're not speaking the same language, yeah. you know? We're not speaking the same language. We don't have the same background, I mean, cultural background. But um, the way the picture Vodun from Benin was like, oh, evil. Yeah. That's, what, that's how they picture it for them to be able to take it away from our people at that time and to give them something better, Christianity. So it was just the trick that they used at that time, and it is still, unfortunately, Some people working still think till that today. Way, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you guys have shown that it all fits nicely together. All together. L let's hear more. What's next? Um, we would like to do a little a cappella. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so whatever you know. Thank you. Send my man, my evil tone. Maura wero, my evil tone. Do pe me. Mahi Mereto Mahi Mereto Mahi Mereto 
Okay, okay.
The dancing rose, so cool, <laughs> so cool. You know, now in that song, again, we hear this amazing deep cultural rhythm, but there's also jazz feeling in that, in the harmonies that you're playing and the, the trumpet lines. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we should mention to people that this group formed in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. But years before that, in 1992, Samuel Jomion formed a group called the Gang Bay Brass Band, which was all brass instruments and percussion playing a, a similar kind of fusion of jazz mm -hmm. and, and, and cultural rhythms and really a remarkable band. And I'm just kind of interested in hearing um, what it was like for you guys growing up. How, how did you, I mean, for us, you know, that really makes us think differently about jazz. I mean, we always think of jazz as American music, <laughs> and we know it has some kind of relationship to Africa, but when you heard the Gongbe Brass Band, you just everything just was turned upside down. It was really a revelation for a lot of Americans. But from your side, what was it like when you were when you were young? What was the music that really struck you? What what led to your inspiration to create these kinds of amazing fusions? Um, um, actually, he's he's. I mean, he had um, um, he has um, a good background. As far it. as you know, music is concerned, because yeah, he started you know um, at school. Then he started you know playing with the bands. He even he was part of the uh, Feeling Jazz. That was the band that uh, Lionel Dweke oh, yeah, yeah, was playing guitar, guitar in. Player who's here in New York also. Yeah. yeah. So he he's been through Black Santiago. Black Santiago. Um, yeah. Feeling Jazz. Um, he's been, you know, you know, Around. he's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, um, in those bands in, I mean, in which he's been, there were, the the some of them has had, um, uh, jazz repertoire like Louis Armstrong and mm -hmm. Dizzy Gillespie. Okay. Um, I mean, all those, you know, uh, Icon, you know, jazz. Yeah, classics. Yes, that we yeah. know. And you know that America is well known all over the, the, the world. So yeah. all those musics, you know, travel around and were available, you know. So all of that together packed with the gospel, you know, uh, sonorities. When he, he decided to, to, to found the, the Gang Bay Brass Band, mm -hmm. it was just let me do something new. 
Yes, because most of the time he was trumpet player, yeah. and you know trumpet players were the the people left you know beside the band because kind of extra, without yeah. yes without trumpet player you the band can can function, the the band can travel, <laughs> the band can play, you know, and even sometimes they will they will take the part of the horns. They will play it with the mm -hmm. keyboard. I remember that, so yeah. there was that kind of frustration around the trumpet players. So he said, let me just create something new whereby we're going to stay, you know, together, you know, trumpet as, I mean, those um, blowers, I mean, instrument that, that you can blow. Yeah, yeah, so, horns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, there were trombones and trombones, tuba, uh, uh, tuba saxophone. saxophone. Yeah, yeah. You amazing. know, all those instruments uh, that you can blow. So yeah, yeah. it is kind of, okay, we've been frustrated all the time, so let us stay with each other and do something new. So that was how it, it started. And I can tell you, when they started, I knew, I can, I can recall that, you know, it was like, who are those people? What, what are they doing there? You know, let them join, you know, separately some bands and, and do their life. You know, instead of, you know, it was a, a, a band of frustrated. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can tell you. It was revolutionary. It was great. It that was, great. was it. That was it. Yeah. But put, when put they started, the you know, stage. traveling, you know, everybody started, you know, like, oh, this thing is different from, you know, what we, we heard, you know, every day. So Brilliant. it became, Brilliant. yeah. And I, I, after that, we have like three, four, five brass band of yeah, that of kind. Yeah, of course, once yeah. they get the idea. <laughs> All right, let's keep the music flowing here. What's next? Uh, the next one is going to be Jure okay. Existe. That's uh, Rodrigo. Yes. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> okay.
This hour is flying by. We're running out of time here, so I'm, I'm going to get you guys to go into your last couple of songs because I don't want to... Uh, okay. I mean, I know you told me that... Yes, I told you that because... <laughs> we got about 10 minutes, and uh, but you told me that you're, you're uh, going to be make it, making a record soon, so hopefully the whole world's going to get to hear this, yeah. this new music I soon. But one, let's yeah. hear your last couple of songs, and if we got a minute, we'll chat a little more at the end. Okay, um, do you want me to go to the last one or the, last the, the one before you know, the last? Yeah, I think you got time for two. <laughs> okay, <Yes>. thank you. Don't tell me. 
Can I have um oh my microphone is gone. Okay. Can I have a little a little more on the bass? I can't feel the bass here. Okay, the last one.
The sun is about to set on another B-side session. So before we close, I'd just like to give a big thanks to tonight's guest, Jomi on Euclos. Thank you. That was just brilliant. Sharing the music and stories from your homeland. Fantastic. You can re-watch this and all past episodes of B-Side on our YouTube channel at the link below. And there's tons more about Africa and African diaspora music on Afropop Worldwide, afropop.org. Find our broadcast schedule and so much more there. I'm Banning Air, and thank you so much for tuning in. Good night, Brooklyn. I'm
Ah, 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 ah,